another tip for quilting the K wood way. As a lot of you know who have come to my seminars, I don't really think of myself as much a quilter as I do a quilt engineer. What interests me about quilts and what is the fun to me is solving problems that quilters have so I can make their quilt making easier. And a, a lot of quilters approached me and said they were having trouble with kaleidoscope. They loved doing the kaleidoscope, but there were several problems that they wish I would tackle, so I did. So here I have a kaleidoscope block that we're going to look at. And in order to cut the pieces, I'm going to use the Star Maker 8 because the kaleidoscope has eight pieces going in a circle. And the way that we're going to use this is We'll use this angle, and if you can read that, it says kaleidoscope. That's the angle we're using. And in order to make a kaleidoscope, we're going to cut what we call a topless triangle. That means I'm going to put the first line down from the point of the Star Maker 8 at the top of the strip and cut a piece, and I get this triangle. And then I'm going to turn it upside down, and now this line is at the bottom. So we have all topless triangles. All right, that will take care of one of the problems, but we'll get to the other problem in a few minutes. Uh, and that is the corners. If you look here at the block, we have tan corners on this block, and every one of the tan corners is on a long white strip. So what I'm going to do is cut a bias strip of the tan, and I'm going to sew it to all of my triangles that have the long white strip. And as you can see, I've sewn these on. And then what I'm going to do is, is to cut my corners. Because quilters tell me that when they do a kaleidoscope, their corners, when they use a template, don't always match up. And that stands to reason, because unless they use the exact seam allowance, the exact seam width, everything exactly the same as the designer, they won't line up, but with this way, we've put a bias strip. Why bias? I know people sort of jump when you say the word bias. The reason is we're going to cut this tan strip by lining up the Star Maker 8 with the, the point, the exact point where the triangles meet this strip. And then I'm going to put a piece of static sticker right here on the seam line. I'm going to cut this tan strip, and when I do that, the outside of the piece is on the straight of grain, which is what we want. That's why we use bias. The reason for the static sticker is when we come to each piece, and the static sticker here, again, is lined up with the seam line. Let's say, for instance, you come to one of your triangles, and it's way down here or way up here, and the, st uh, the uh, static sticker doesn't line up with the seam line, that will tell you right away that that triangle was cut wrong. And so you can go back and fix it before you put your whole piece together. So now we have our corners, and here are our pieces. We have our corners and the opposite piece. And that's as easy it is, as it is to put your kaleidoscope together. It's just a matter of rearranging the uh, order in which you add pieces. And you can see how it would go. And our eight pieces go together, and you have a perfect kaleidoscope. Try that, and join me again when I bring you another tip, quilting the K-Wood way.